All right then, so now we have this template file for the project details. We want to tell Gatsby to fetch the data for each project that we have. And then we want to pump it into our template to generate a page for it. So by the end of the process, we have six pages, one for each project that we have right here inside the project folder. All right. So how do we do this? Well, to do this, we use a file called Gatsby node. Now it doesn't exist yet, so we're gonna to need to create it. And we do that in the root folder, not inside source, but over here. So I'm gonna right click and create a new file. And that is called Gatsby-node.js. So this Gatsby node file is a file that will run at build time in a node environment. So we can run certain functions inside this file to do things like fetch data and then generate pages with that data based on a template file, which we already have. So the first step inside this file is to create a property called create pages on the exports object. So I'm going to say exports.create pages like so. Now, this is how we export things in a node environment. It's a little bit different from ES6 modules, but I'm gonna set this equal to an asynchronous function right now. And the reason it's gonna be asynchronous is because we're gonna fetch the data that we need to pump into the template. So it's asynchronous and it means we can use the await keyword inside this function. Now, as an argument, we get an object inside this function and we can destructure a couple of things from this object. The first thing is gonna be GraphQL. So much like we used GraphQL and we imported it in our page components to make queries, we're destructuring it from this object right here so we can use it to make queries inside this function. The second thing we're gonna grab from here is something called actions and actions contains a few different methods that we can use inside this function and one of those is a method to generate pages so the first thing we need to do inside this function now is to grab the data that we need to make pages for and that is all the markdown files so what i'm going to do is say right here const and we're going to destructure the data from the response here because it gives us a response object. We're just destructuring the data property on that object. And we're gonna set that equal to await and graph QL like so. Now this time, this is a function. So we don't just place our back ticks at the end over here, we invoke the function and then we pass in whatever the query is. So we do our back ticks now and then we pass in the query right here. Now what do we need? We need all the markdown files and what we'll do is grab them, first of all, from graphical. So let me just bring this back up so we can start from scratch, like so. So all markdown remark, we don't need to sort them, but from here, all we need is the slug. So let me get rid of the ID as well. And the reason we need the slug is because when we're generating pages, we want to know what is the route gonna be for that page. Now remember, if we take a look inside our projects, let me close the images, take a look inside one of these, we see a slug property. Now that is gonna be the route or part of the route for this page. And we're going to tell Gatsby that that is the case, right? Because we need to generate as well as a page, a route for that page. All right, so what I'm gonna do is grab this query that we have right here. In fact, we don't need to name it. So I'm gonna get rid of that bit, I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna paste it right here, like so. Now, the query right here is not for the projects page, so I'm gonna get rid of that, and I'll just call it project like this. So we get all the markdown files as nodes, we go into the front matter, and we grab the slug for each one. So now we have that data, we can do something with it. We want to generate a page for each one of those items in the data. So then how do we do this? Well, it's pretty simple. First of all, we want to cycle through all of the items in our data. Now to do that, we need to say data. Then we want to go into all markdown remark. This is much like we drilled into the objects before once we get that data back. Then we want the nodes right here. Now remember, this nodes, this is going to be an array right here of all of the different items that we get back. And on each one of those items, we're going to have access to the front matter and then on that, the slug. So what I want to do is cycle through these nodes and for each one, we want to generate a page based on our template. And in each case, we want to pass in the data 
for that template somehow. Now, the only thing we have is the slug right here, but we can still pass in the slug to the template, and then from the template, we can use that slug to make another query to get the data for the project with that slug. I hope that makes sense. So to do this, I'm gonna use the for each method on this nodes array. And for each node, what we'll do is fire a function, and then the way we create a page, oops, this is all wrong. So let me just change this and change this back to lowercase. Okay, so then the way we create a page is by using this actions thing right here. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna use a method called create page. So this is a method and we pass in an object so that Gatsby knows how to create the page. What template or component do we want to use to create this page? What is going to be the path, the route for this page? And what data do we want to pass into the template for this page? Well, we can set all of that up inside this object. So first of all, the path, what is gonna be the path for this page? Well, I want it to be forward slash projects and then forward slash whatever the slug is gonna be. Now I can access the slug from the node. So I'll say plus node, which is the thing we take in to the function. And then I want to access the front matter, then the slug property on it. So that is the route or the path for that page, forward slash project, forward slash whatever the slug is. Next, we'll say, what components do we want to use to generate this page? Now, this is just going to be the template page, and it needs to be an absolute path to that. So in order to create this absolute path, I'm going to import something. So at the top, oops, I don't want to close that down. At the top, I'm going to say const path is equal to require. This is how we import something in a node environment. We use require and we want to require the path module. Now we don't need to install anything for that. It's automatically built into Node, so don't worry about anything like that. But down here, we can use that path now to resolve a path. So we're gonna say path.resolve, and then inside here, we're gonna say dot forward slash to say the current directory, then into source, then templates, then project, hyphen details.js and this is going to generate an absolute path for us not a relative one so this requires that absolute path remember okay so that's the second property the third one is going to be context and basically this is going to be what do we want to pass what variable do we want to pass in to the template when we're generating this page now i want to pass in the slug so first of all we pass in an object and then whatever variables we want to add we create a property for them. So the slug, in our case, is going to be node.frontmatter.slug. Now, this slug right here is passed in as a query variable for us. Now, we've not learned about query variables yet. We're going to talk about those in the next video, but it means that when we're making a query down here for this template page, we have access to that slug. And we're gonna use that query variable to make sure we get the data for whatever project we need. Then once we have that data, we can output it right here. So that's gonna come in the next video. But for now, what I want to do is make sure that we've actually created these pages and we should just have a blank project details page using this template for each of these different routes right here. So it's still gonna generate those even though we're not using this inside the template page yet. It's still gonna generate them based on this component. and We should be able to at least go to those pages. Okay, so now what we need to do is cancel out of our process down here. So control C, and then I'm gonna run Gatsby develop again. And then I'm gonna go over here to the browser and I'm gonna try clicking on one of these things. And notice now it's no longer a 404, we get a page for it. And it uses this template over here, project details. Currently it just says title and stack. But once we use that query variable that we passed into it right here using the, oops, that should be context, not context. Once we use that, then we're gonna be able to pass in the data or query the data for that project and pass that data into the template instead. But at least now for each one of these, we have the page set up and you can see the path for those pages at the top. So this is all working. So 
Next up, what we're going to do is we'll see how to use that query variable, the slug right here that we pass in, in our query in this template so we can get that data and actually use it in the template.